And uh, leaving the common criteria, uh, but still, in a sense, in uh, uh, evaluation. So I suppose we're not necessarily leaving the common criteria quite yet, uh, but extending to a, um, <coughs> a, a broader concept, or a couple of concepts, um, and unfortunately, a bit of a problem in recent uh, literature, but we will come to that in a moment. Um, we have, uh, as an enterprise, determined our requirements for a particular product or a particular system or a particular service, uh, whatever it may be. We have, we have defined our requirements, we may have put out a call for proposal, whatever happens, uh, somebody has come along and said, uh, we have something that meets uh, your needs. Okay, now, uh, what do we do? Uh, okay, we, as the technical people, um, <clears throat> information technology, uh, the security department, uh, the, uh, the techies, the geeks, um, we are the ones who do certification. And certification is the uh, determination that, yes, uh, what the vendor says is true, this does meet our needs, the functions of this system, device, service, whatever, does meet our requirements as stated. You know, so we're doing, we're doing testing in this area. Sometimes we're not doing testing, sometimes, you know, evaluation assurance level down in the lower levels, maybe we're just going on the documentation, maybe even on the marketing literature, it depends. Um, but uh, we are saying yes um, or no, this does or does not meet the requirements as stated. Um, that's, that's our side of the deal. That's certification. Then comes accreditation. That is management and particularly senior management's part of the deal. And they are saying, uh, we will accept it. We will buy it. We will run it, we will uh, subscribe to it, whatever um, the business model is. But yes, we will, we will use this. Um, if we develop this ourselves, uh, of course, it's yes, we will put it into operation. It, it goes into production. Uh, and again, if we develop it, uh, or, you know, the company uh, development team has, has developed something uh, per the requirements that we have set down. Again, uh, we in either IT or in uh, security uh, put it through its paces and do the certification and say yes or no. Um, that's the testing. That's the certification. Management's part is known as accreditation. This is acceptable. This is, you know, so, certification is testing, accreditation is acceptance. Sometimes we will uh, say, no, this product, service, thing, whatever, uh, does not meet our stated requirements. And management will say, we need it too badly, even if it falls short, we will accept it. Sometimes we will say, yes, uh, this product, whatever, uh, does meet our requirements and management, senior management will say, no, we will not accept this for whatever other reasons uh, there is. I, I did one contract um, where I ident identified uh, a particular technology, um, and <laughs> uh, it was not, you know, that was the, the certification part, you know, this is, this is a match to what you need, 
and uh, uh, senior management uh, said, no, we will not accept it because uh, one of the vice presidents plays golf with somebody from a different company that makes a competing product, which actually was not that great. But that's, you know, senior management gets to call the shots, and we always have to understand that. That, you know, that's the way the world works. Um, and by and large, uh, you know, other than uh, playing golf with people, the way the world should work, uh, because, of course, the... Uh, you know, senior management is going on the basis of uh, business uh, factors that we may not be a party to. So, um, in terms of certification, um, that, as I say, you know, that's the testing part. Um, we go uh, on certain modes of operation. Um, we look at the... Uh, uh, specific uh, users and, and their level of training, perhaps. Uh, we're looking at applications. We're looking at data sensitivity. We're looking at the system and facility configurations. Uh, we're looking at interconnections with other systems. Um, and, uh, you know, all of those go into our certification. And in terms of accreditation, um, they are going to be looking at particular security modes, um, uh, prescribed sets of, of countermeasures that may need to be layered on top, uh, defined threat, um, stated vulnerabilities, uh, a, a certain operational um, environment, you know, what, what is our business environment here, and uh, what are the, the factors that need to be uh, put into that. Um, and again, you know, the, the interconnections with other systems, um, Risk analysis should be done, and the the level of risk formally accepted. Again, that's that's part of the accreditation process, or should be. Um, and and in that area, we may be of uh, assistance in that. Um, and generally speaking, in terms of accreditation, it's for a stated period of time, um, and. Uh, you know, the, the description of, of uh, its acceptance also should uh, indicate uh, the, the situation, the environment, um, the, the modes under which it is acceptable. Uh, so, um, management's, uh, you know, it, it's not just a uh, yay or nay uh, Situation. It's not that they, you know, we do all the work and then they, they just say yes or no. Um, there is a, a, a larger aspect to the accreditation process, which is uh, not necessarily beyond our purview, but that's, that's in management sphere, and, and we may be contributing to that, um, but we may not. Uh, just a, an example from the... Um, uh, the pandemic, um, uh, the the vaccines, uh, they were tested to certain levels of effectiveness and, and various other things, you know, various um, it, data was um, uh, obtained. And, and then um, certain jurisdictions would say, okay, well, we will accept um, this this vaccine uh, for use, or we will accept this vaccine for a specific type of use, uh, possibly for the elderly, possibly uh, for everybody but the elderly. Um, uh, different levels of uh, acceptance and, and accreditation, in a sense, um, in terms of, uh, uh, you know, what, uh, how acceptable it was going to be.